Howard Garrett, the Dirt Doctor here, with some advice on healthy living. I don't often recommend hose-in sprayers for several reasons. They do the mixing for you, sort of, and they can be very inconsistent. They also clog up easily and have a tendency to fall apart. They're okay for spraying microbe products, though, things like beneficial nematodes, but not for fertilizers where the concentration and coverage are more important. The sprayers I recommend are the products that dispense the spray mix that you have created. Pump-up sprayers and trombone sprayers are the least expensive, and they're good for small jobs. But what's even better is a backpack sprayer, and there's a lot of them on the market. The one I use is made by Steel, the company that makes my favorite chainsaw. This quality product isn't much more expensive than the least quality products. When spraying the organic mixtures, especially those that contain vinegar, it's very important for you to rinse out the sprayer and the hoses and nozzles before storage. I have ruined several sprayers before being in a hurry and skipping this simple step. One of the nice things about using the organic sprays is that you don't have to worry about getting the spray on your skin. You should worry about that if you're still using the toxic chemicals. For all your gardening and natural health questions or to join the Organic Club of America, visit DirtDoctor.com or our Facebook page and tune into my talk show this and every weekend. Go organic and enjoy your healthy gardens.